Hey, all right. Well, let's get into this. Um, no. no. I bought this book when I saw the Devil Wears Prada, December fourteenth. So it's been a little while. I've been putting it off and putting it off, putting it off. It seems lately for the past month, I've been wanting to read a lot. And I've been looking up a lot of books, but I either buy them and just put off the reading, or you know, I don't. I don't get into as much as I want to. But um, this book, I think I can't say rightfully say it's a treasure. It's a short story. Lighting's a little weird here. Uh. It's a short story that serves as a reminder. And uh, for what it serves as a reminder, that, that, that's, the, that's the topic. Uh, it's about, uh, how do you put it? Uh, Constance, you could say. Just the, the dredging along of someone's life that's so... Uh, routine. It's so, um, it follows a singular path. Someone that, that lives a boring life, you could say. Someone that may not, um, speak out about things that they truly want or, uh, make the changes necessary. It's, it's, it follows the life of, uh, Ian Mitchell, the main character of the story, uh, through youth, uh, love, and just later in life, you could say. Uh, now, I guess, as a uh, young person, he kind of developed these traits to be more of an introvert, I guess, uh, you know, not, not speaking out much, following a routine, I guess, in life. And even through love, he seems to follow a routine and not make the changes necessary to keep life interesting. And I think that's why it serves more as a reminder rather than, well, it's a short story, of course, but it serves more of a, a purpose of, of a reminder. Because I think everyone knows that life gets boring with uh, monotony, but you need to keep it interesting. And I think that's, that's sort of the message behind this book, at least to me, what I got out of it. It's not very long. It's, uh, I don't have it with me. I forgot to bring it. Um, uh, that's about that. Uh, nothing, nothing too long of a book. It's a short story. Three chapters aren't very long, but, um, it's pretty simple. It's a pretty simple book that, that, uh, I guess it's, it's more of a, uh, how would you say, a nail that, that cracks the ice, uh, I was gonna, I was gonna come up with some type of uh, metaphor there, but uh, I kind of lost it. Some type of analogy. It's a small nail that you hammer into the ice, and there's a large crack. I guess it, it's a, it's a short story, but it, you, it expands your mind on the thought of monotony and going through life routinely, almost. And um, it, it's a, it's a genuinely good book. I can't say it's the best thing I've ever read, of course, uh, but. It's a decent book. I figured I, I would um, make a make a video about it because, you know, the metal channel, Devil Wears Prada, the metal band. This book is by the singer, Mike Hranica, by the way. I'm pretty sure people knew that. Home for Grave. It's kind of modeled after the song. I think the song sort of took on the uh, short form of the short story that uh, was developed before the album, or at least um, the inception of it was, you know, pre-album and... This is just an expansion on the song, or the song was a summary of the book. I'm not sure which. But, um, regardless, it, 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 it kept me reading. Um, just, just the life of someone that, uh, you know, may not, I don't want to say matter, but it's so routine that the person is almost irrelevant in life. They don't put in the effort necessary to stand out or, uh, you know, make a change for themselves. It, it's it's something to think about. It makes you step back and sort of look at your own life and um, reevaluate things. But all in all, I think it was a decent book, and it definitely serves as a reminder of values that people should hold dear in everyday life. So, uh, 
I guess this is my first book review of the channel. I think this is the, this is the first book review of the channel, right? See? Yeah, first book review of the channel. My first reviewing of a book. I'm sure I'll get better at it. Groundbreaking. Yeah. Breaks ground. Um, but I, I have a rating, I guess, to rate books on. Oh, I'd say this is a decent 7 out of 10. I would like to see Mike write a, a book book almost I have, I've seen his, the two books that he has out are this short story and uh, basically a rundown of all the songs off of Dead Throne I'd like to see him expand more into the story I felt that uh, while yes it was a short story I felt that it could have been uh, you know emphasized a little more there, there's a lot more to go on this is almost just a skeleton of something that could have been a lot more. But uh, I think it's it, it serves enough as it is. So uh, I'm not sure if people can buy it on the website. I know this being a, a, a small book for not not a you know big name author or anything. Uh, I think there weren't many made of these. So if you can get your hands on one, it's definitely a decent read. Very short. But uh, the values in it, it's, it's more of a book that makes you think. It's more of the, uh, the inception of a thought, I think. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. So definitely check it out if you have the opportunity. Um, is it fiction or non-fiction, faggot? Uh, it is fiction. I forgot, I forgot to say that. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fictional book, of course. I I'm I kind of wonder how much if I if I ever get to talk to him like I want to ask him how much this this fictional character Ian Mitchell re resembles him and uh, it, it's it's a nice little story that definitely serves as a good reminder for uh, you know life to keep life interesting to uh, you know still hold on to your values but don't seclude yourself through life. Don't limit yourself. And uh, it's a pretty pretty good message. I just wish there was more more book, more pages to it. And uh, a heftier story. So, um, that's about it. I mean, first book review is pretty bad. So, uh, yeah, I mean, apples. Blaze it.